Thank you so much. Good afternoon. As, uh, as you just learned, I'm Congresswoman Debbie Wasserman Schultz, and I proudly represent Florida's 25th Congressional District. I am so delighted to celebrate the students who took part in this year's Congressional App Challenge. Having three kids of my own, I know that being a student is a constant battle to balance all of your school activities and academics, so I appreciate all of you joining us here in Washington, D.C. for the first in-person House of Code since the start of the pandemic. I know we're all thrilled to be able to be here together. It wasn't, just, it wasn't quite the I know from, from my app challenge folks when we were doing this virtually, not quite the same. So as you all likely know, the challenge started in 2013 by the House of Representatives because our members wanted to foster a deeper appreciation for computer science, STEM, and coding. And look around you from left to right. You all took a shot and make, in making something useful, innovative, and new. And you won you were chosen in your congressional district. Be proud of the incredible work you've done and know that you are among the next generations of leaders, both in the classroom and in your future careers. Now, you know better than I, we live in an era of rapid technological advancement where new opportunities and threats reveal themselves every day. We often take for granted the incredible amount of information available at our fingertips, especially your generation, who grew up with it your whole lives. And honestly, we still have not fully answered yet, how do we best use all of this technology to make a better world? And how do we stop all the bad actors from abusing it? That is where all you all come in. My generation, as I said, did not grow up with a supercomputer in our pocket. Apps were only what you ate before your main meal, not a tool to change life as we know it. By mastering this technology at an early age, I'm making myself sound like a geezer. I, uh, I am one of the, the you know, mid-range members of Congress in terms of chronological age, so just, just so you know. But, but by mastering this technology at an early age, you can uncover the full potential of the digital age and harness it to make everyone's life better. Whether you want to address inequality, combat climate change, change or just make the next viral game or make someone's life a little easier, creating an app is the perfect way to take that first step. Coding, science, and math are all about curiosity and discovery and seeing our world through a new imaginative lens. And STEM jobs set the technological framework for our future. But we need to do a better job of inspiring young people, especially young women and people of color, to pursue a career in STEM. These jobs are high paying and impactful, but today only 26% of computing jobs are held by women and only 32% by people of color. Opportunities in tech are incredibly appealing, but we need to bring diversity and inclusion to the booming tech industry. As new ventures flourish, America cannot meet the demand for qualified workers with students from our STEM fields, so tech companies outsource their workforce from outside the United States. That's why the work that we do in our schools and making sure that we can bring STEM education to more students, no matter their gender, ethnicity, or income level, is so vital to our future. I know I speak for my fellow House colleagues when I say that all of the app entries we received were incredibly impressive. But I would be remiss if I did not highlight the incredible work of Connor Bodie, whose basal metabolic rate app won the Congressional App Challenge in my district. <laughs> Connor's app helps those trying to gain, maintain, or lose weight and track their calorie count. I don't know about you, but that's something that I might have an interest in. So with the user's height, weight, and age, Connor's app calculates their basal metabolic rate, or the number of calories needed to maintain homeostasis or optimal bodily function or balance. And I really hope there's not a test after my remarks because I'm not sure I would pass. <laughs> I'm glad I have the words in front of me to read what I'm describing to you. Connor's achievement shows just how the Congressional App Challenge empowers young students to pursue their passion for coding and encourages them to create innovative solutions that can make a positive impact on our communities. I am so proud to have him and his work represent our district. Connor, are you here? There you are. Good, good to see you. What? No, 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 you're good, you're good, thank you, thank you. And finally, thank you so much to each and every one of you for taking up this challenge. Throughout your coding journey, you'll undoubtedly face a raft, you undoubtedly faced a raft of bugs, glitches, and real moments of frustration, but you persevered, you collaborated, and the apps you created are a testament to your resilience, creativity, and innovation. I have no doubt that you will continue to achieve remarkable things in your future endeavors, and I cannot wait to see what incredible apps and innovations you'll come up with 
next. Thank you so much for all of your participation and congratulations on a job well done. And Connor, I'm coming to you now. <laughs>